Prosecutors say after catching a teenager shoplifting, a Minnesota pastor pretended to be an officer and used pepper spray on that shoplifter. 55-year-old Keith Haskell of Owatonna faces misdemeanor adult assault charges. Court documents say last month he tried to make a citizen's arrest on two teenagers. 17-year-old Abram Rodriguez was one of them. He tells us Haskell tailgated Rodriguez and his cousin after his cousin admittedly stole about $10 worth of snacks from a grocery store. Witnesses told officers they saw Haskell trying to pull the teens out of the SUV, and he yelled that he was an officer. Haskell's attorney released a statement saying, quote, the police investigation is absurd and flawed. My client was the victim. We will fight these allegations in the courts. Haskell is a pastor at Bridges of Hope Community Church in Owatonna. He will be back in court next month. Police arrested at least one person after a large protest at the University of Minnesota. At one point, a fight broke out and campus police had to spray mace into the crowd. A controversial internet personality sparked the protest at Anderson Hall. Lauren Southern is a political activist associated with the alt-right movement. She spoke at the university to a sold-out group of about 130 people. The student group who sponsored Southern's visit said it's important to listen to all perspective. Quote, students for a conservative voice, so that's the group, says that free speech gives way to free thinking. Later this morning, Pentagon officials are going to brief both the Senate and House Armed Services Committees on the investigation into the deadly ambush in Niger. Four American soldiers were killed, and questions linger about how the men came under attack. Another concern is when did Sergeant LeDavid Johnson get separated from 11 other U.S. troops during that firefight? Pentagon deployed elite commandos to search for him. LeDavid was found dead two days later. President Donald Trump addressed whether he authorized the mission. No, I didn't. Not specifically. I gave them authority to do what's right so that we win. That's the authority they have. President also commented on the state of the Republican Party dismissing talk of any infighting. This all comes despite President Trump sparring with Senate Republicans Jeff Flake and Bob Corker, who've criticized the president's leadership and behavior. In fact, just five minutes ago, the president tweeted, do not underestimate the unity within the Republican Party. Later today, President Trump expected to deliver a major speech outlining his administration's policy, as Pat Kessler mentioned, on fighting the opioid crisis.